Welcome back. This week we continue with the Gospel of Mark. I'm going to put the Gospel up on the screen and allow you to hit pause and allow a family member to proclaim the word. So we're back with that loud lion. Mark, the dramatic gospel teller. He comes in with a lot of power and a lot of energy and a lot to say with us. And in his gospel, he doesn't tell us about Jesus's childhood or how he came to be. He dives right into his public ministry and we get right into one of his miracles in this gospel. You may have noticed that there were a few words or phrases that were highlighted in that gospel. The first one is astonished. The people were astonished at Jesus' teaching. That's a great word. Not just interested, not just amazed, they were astonished. Something was happening that they hadn't experienced in the past, and they could feel it. They didn't know what it was, but they could feel it. It's pretty powerful. The second phrase is, he taught as one having authority and not as the scribes. When Jesus was doing the teaching in the synagogue that day, the people could tell something was different. The scribes taught about someone else's authority based on precedent, based on the Old Testament, based on the laws. Jesus taught from the heart. The way he brought the scripture to life in that synagogue was different from anything they'd ever heard before. He wasn't saying the scripture was different. He wasn't using different words, but the way he taught about it, they knew in their hearts it was different. They knew they were in the presence of something astonishing. The next phrase that we highlighted for you is, I know who you are, the Holy One of God. That came from the unclean man. It was the unclean spirit inside the man calling out to Jesus. And normally when someone's calling out to Jesus, we think it's like glorifying, hooray, the Holy One of God. But I imagine that that man may have said it like, I know who you are, Holy One of God. And when you think about that, the unclean spirit, the evil, the, the devil inside that man could see who Jesus was. The people couldn't yet. But they knew something was different. Something was burning in their hearts, but the evil spirit called him out for what he is, the Holy One of God. And at the end of the gospel, we hear that word authority again. The, the people are confused and they say, what is this, a new teaching with authority? So that word authority really speaks to us this week. Who is Jesus as the authority in our life? Lots of times we want to water down Jesus's thinking. We want to make it be all the soft and good stuff. And we sometimes don't want to hear the harsh messages that he has for us. But this gospel reminds us that Jesus is the authority in our, li in our lives. He came from God so that we could understand God better. He came as our, our Messiah so he could serve us in helping us understand how to connect better with God our Father. So this gospel leaves us with a great message of Jesus being the authority, the living word of God, bringing the authority of God down to earth. So here's your challenge this week. Who is an authority in your life that maybe has too much control? Is it a radio station? Is it uh, a Netflix show? Is it uh, a newscast? Is it a, a book? Is it your job? Is it a coach? Uh, a set of kids? Have a discussion as a family. Who do you allow to be an authority in your life that shouldn't? Who do you need to maybe push to the background so that Jesus, the true authority, can come in and break open his word for you, break open a newness in your life?
break open a new way to see him, God the Father, and God the Spirit. Have a great week. We'll see you next time.